We're here today to set up the NIR camera for mapping with the Agco Edition 3DR Solo uh, drone UAV. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to turn our camera on, our NIR camera. So once we've got our camera on, we are actually going to take and the button on the right hand side with the little wrench, we're going to take and we're going to press and hold that for two seconds there. You'll get a little icon up there that shows the wireless is on. We'll go into our GoPro app on our uh, Android device that we're using for mapping. It'll show actually the wireless signal is connected from the GoPro camera into the GoPro app on your, on your tablet or device. Um, that is actually pairing the clock sync together so that your GoPro clock is matched to your Android device clock because your Android device clock is where your flight log information is going to be kept. Once you've got the blue dot there, you can actually go ahead and shut the, the wireless back off on the camera. Just press and hold that wrench button for two, two to three seconds there. The wireless logo will go back off. You can clear back out of your app on that. So now that our camera is on, we're, we want to make sure that we're set up on the time lapse camera setting. It should also say two seconds down here. You'll be able to set that within your camera settings. That this camera, we can go ahead and press the button up top, and every two seconds it's going to snap a photo. Uh, you can just go ahead and remember that to make sure that it's on the time lapse. It just shows the camera with the uh, clock off to the left hand side. Um, so it's a, it's a timed photo every two seconds. And you can adjust that, that time down there, so make sure it's set to two seconds. Uh, that being said, we'll go ahead and we'll turn on our uh, solo controller. Power that up. While that's powering up, we'll go ahead and over here to our solo uh, drone and we'll go ahead and we will turn that on as well. So as that's all turning on, what's happening now is Solo is going to be sending a wireless signal. <coughs> Once it's set up, it's going to be sending a wireless signal. The controller is actually going to hook up to that. Those two will have a wireless signal. We'll be gaining the satellites to the controller uh, through this so that that way we gain our GPS coordinates. Um, once everything's turned on, the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to actually go to um, within our tablet. Once we have all that hooked up the wireless, we're going to go into our tablet, go into your wireless settings or your settings, go to your Wi-Fi, and make sure you're actually connected to the Solo itself. So every Solo is going to have its unique um, Wi-Fi connection ID. Just connect your Wi-Fi to that. Now that we're connected to that, this machine, the, the drone itself, is connected to the tablet wirelessly, um, or the controller wirelessly, and now the tablet as well is also wirelessly all connected together. That being said, for um, flight purposes, for the mapping purposes, you don't actually have to have the camera um, synced in with everything other than the time with the tablet. Think of it as the, the, the drone is actually going to carry the camera and the drone is just your vehicle to get to the camera over the field. And then the tablet is just for collecting that flight data. So now that we've got everything set up here, we're going to go back out of here. We're going to go into our tower app. And the tower app is where you're going to be able to predetermine your flight pattern. You can pick your field. Um, you can do all of that. In this case, we've already got our field set up. You can predetermine your field from home. You can predetermine it um, in the field, whatnot. But we've already got our map set up, our route. So our waypoints are set. So we're just simply going to connect the tower app to everything wirelessly. It'll tell you when it's connected. And then what we'll also do is we'll go ahead and we'll hit upload mission. It's going to say waypoints are saved to the drone, so the mission is set and, and set up within the uh, drone itself. Now before, when you're setting everything up, before you do all that, you can make sure to set your mission it within the tower app. Make sure to set that um, to the proper camera. Make sure to set that at 328 feet and make sure to set your um, 
overlap at 50% and your side overlap at 80%. Um, that's kind of the recommended settings we've had is 328 feet. Um, that uh, is a metric setting and that's just, I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly 328, but that's uh, kind of the recommended setting for the height to do the, the most effective mapping with that 50 and 80% overlap. 50% overlap, 80% uh, side overlap. So that being said, everything's ready to go. We've got everything synced. We've got uh, the waypoints uploaded to the drone. Everything's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that we've got the camera on, I'm just gonna get to that setting where it's the, uh, the two second auto shutter. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button here. It's gonna start taking pictures already. There it's taking a picture. There's second picture. There's the third picture. It's already taking pictures of, of us standing here talking. So let's get it put onto the drone. Saddled up into the cradle. Once it's saddled up into the cradle, we're gonna go ahead, arm, slide it over to arm, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit auto. Slide that over to auto. And there goes solo. Solo is gonna go do its flight.